For this color theory and design assignment, what you're going to do to start out with, uh, the assignment kind of explains it, but you need to go back to the modules. The first thing it tells you is look at the color theory presentation in the link under this assignment that describes each of the color theories. So go back to your modules, and when that comes up, go to the color theory module, PS. PS stands for Photoshop Color Theory. And what it's talking about is this color schemes presentation right here. So open that up and probably what I would do is open, if you click on this, it's going to open this up in another window or download it for you. And I would upload it separately so you can kind of pull it over the side or maybe do this on your iPad since I am screenshotting this for you. Uh, I'm going to pull this screen all the way over here. If you click and drag this outside, it'll give you a separate screen. So we're going to minimize that one and minimize this one. Uh, but basically you need to go through, remind yourself of all the different color schemes that we have went through before in uh, intro to art. So we got monochromatic, you have analogous, analogous remember side by side on the color wheel. Um, and you have complementary colors and it goes through each one of them. So you need to go through that all by yourself. And then when you're done with that and you're ready to start, go back to the module again. And you are going to click on, oh, keeps jumping, sorry. Uh, example of color. I don't know why it says CS. This is the color theory um, Photoshop design. So what you're going to do is open this up. So you got to double click on it. It may download it. Well, you'll, you'll have to download it. And then you'll have to upload it. And then it'll upload into Photoshop. So we're going to upload that. And it should come up something like this. Now, it's already got one completed for you, but I want you to change this one. Do not keep this one this way. But this gives you an example of what the analogous color theory looks like. Here's the original. If I take off the visibility for this, it's going to give you all the different color theories here. So you have your accent neutral, your neutral, uh, split complementary, complementary, triadic, analogous, mono, monochromatic, and then the original. Uh, there's our original, so we probably want to lock it to make sure we don't do anything on it. So make sure it's highlighted. That means it's in the blue. And then come up here and click the lock button. You'll see the lock over here. To unlock it, you can come back up here and click the lock button. Okay, so that turns it on and off. We want to lock it. Uh, we're going to work on the monochromatic first. So what I want to do is I want to select certain areas and then I'm going to change this to a monochromatic color scheme. Um, I want some different colors in here. Please try to be a little bit creative. Don't just fill everything in one blue. Do some different blues and figure out how to do some different things in different ways. But the first thing we need to do is select certain areas before we color them. The best tool I think to use for right now is the magic wand tool. Uh, it may be started out on the quick selection tool. Remember if you click and hold, um, then you'll get, if it has this little triangle, it gives you more than one. The magic wand tool is going to select anything that's that color. So since it's a black and white setup, um, it'll select just that. Now what I want to do though is I want to select starry, the whole word. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. So shift and alt and then scroll and then I'm going to bring this down and if I just click on this it selects it so if I want to click on the T if you notice it unselects the S and only does the T so I want to select all these at one time instead of doing them separately if you click down on the shift button as you select you'll notice that it selects all these at one time so I just want starry because I want it under one color. So then I want to choose a color scheme. So then I want to decide, let's just keep it on the blue. But I want a different blue. Let's go a little bit darker shade. And I'm going to go OK. And then I need to go to my paintbrush tool. And it's pretty big, which is fine because it's selected. And if you see, it just kind of goes over the top of it and only paints in that area. Okay, and then when we're done, we want to go Command D. That will deselect. Okay, so you want to make sure that you only select the area. So again, I got to go back to this quick selection tool, and let's say I want to select this star, and it's even selected this little thing up here. 
and I want to get a different color scheme. Remember, monochromatic means the tints and shades of one color, so let's get a lighter blue this time. Okay, come back here to my paintbrush. Now I'm going to go over the top of that starry, but you can see it doesn't select it. It doesn't paint over the top because it was not selected. Now you can do some different things in here too. Um, mess around with the gradation tool. I think, nope, it's not there. It's with the paint bucket. Gradient tool. I, don't know, I think you guys messed around with this a little bit. Not sure. Uh, let's try here, but I'm going to try a different color, a little bit darker. And then if you pull this down, it gets a gradient in there. So that kind of makes it a little bit more uh, interesting, but make sure that it stays within your color scheme. So I'm going to scroll back out of this. You are going to do each one. Let's go out. Okay, so you're going to fill this whole thing in monochromatically, and then you're going to shut that off. Okay, and then you're going to come up to analogous. Now the analogous is already done for you, but I do not want it to stay this color. You come up with your own analogous color scheme. Remember, analogous is side by side on the color wheel, so you can use anywhere from three to five colors on there as long as they're kind of similar. Then you'll do that one, turn it off, then come up to the triadic, do that, complementary, split, complementary, neutral, accented, neutral. Okay, once you've gotten all of these color schemes finished on here, save your whole Photoshop document. Remember, when you go to save, you're going to go file, save as, and you need to make sure format says Photoshop, and then that up here needs to say PSD. That means it's a Photoshop document. So put your name on here. So put your name and color theory, and then I will add a color theory folder into the shared folder and save that in there and I will look at all of them through there that way I can pull up your whole Photoshop uh, document and I can look at each one separately so if you have any questions make sure to ask